lot of Xbox fans were extremely worried because it looks like Sony is going to announce a PlayStation 5 Pro that is going to absolutely destroy the Xbox Series X in terms of power. And I think that's something that a lot of fans did not want to see. So when you look at sort of how things have gone in the past, uh, it doesn't traditionally end well for Microsoft if they have a weaker console because people will really jump on the differences. Like it's not so much a thing when Xbox has an advantage. Let's just be real. Like, you know, they have the Xbox Series X and we haven't really seen much on any advantages that they've had in terms of frame rate or you know resolution and how many games have been coming out like this hasn't been an issue for i want to say seven years since the xbox one x come out like everything was about resolution and peas and now it looks like uh we're kind of living in this situation where none of that stuff ever gets talked about so you know Listen, at the end of the day, Microsoft is going to do what they're going to want to do. People are worried, and rightfully so, you know. Um, you know, at the end of the day, I think it, it makes sense for people to kind of worry about it because it's a console, and people really want that console to kind of continue to exist. Um, you know, at the end of the day, will it? I, You know, that's one thing that we don't really uh, understand. So... Uh, apparently, you know, we know that there's a lot of things going on with the PS5 Pro. Uh, we know the specs and now it looks like Microsoft has taken to let some information come out about the Xbox Series X Pro. So again, very interesting that is, you know, th that the PlayStation 5 Pro is going to be doing a, a lot of things rendering 45% faster than the PS5. Uh, two to three times the ray tracing, 33.5 teraflops. Um, you know, they're going to be using spectral super resolution as well. 8K, uh, you know, machine learning, all kinds of stuff. But, you know, according to this, Xbox Series X Pro is going to be rendering 60% faster than the Xbox Series X. And it's going to be 55 teraflops. So 55 teraflops, that's absolutely incredible when you think about it. And apparently what this is going to do is thanks to the architecture that is involved with the Xbox uh, ecosystem and their SDKs as it stands, much like with the Xbox One X, games are just going to run and look better. So let's just say you have a game, you're playing a game, and that game was, you know, 1080p, uh, 60 frames per second or you know that game can now be 4k you know 60 frames per second with uh you know ray tracing and things like that so what microsoft is doing is essentially taking the playstation's kind of thunder uh you know will this mean a bunch of stuff for xbox does it mean you know xbox is gonna suddenly start selling amazingly well uh, of course not you know, it's, that doesn't mean that at all. What it just means is that there's not going to be this huge talking point for PlayStation where they're absolutely destroying uh, Xbox in terms of power and things like that. So I think it's a necessary move by Microsoft, uh, but it's also, um, you know, one of those things that we, we keep seeing where where microsoft realistically had to come out and do something even though phil spencer said previously that perhaps they wouldn't um you know we now know that that's not the case that they needed to come out and do something uh so apparently they're going to be replacing the xbox series x that we have right now right the xbox series x where they're going to be replacing that with the white one that's going to be cheaper with no disk drive uh, it looks like they're phasing out uh, the disk drive completely and we get this new series uh, XX that is going to be just like balls to the wall and 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 pretty pretty amazing so you know again we'll see if this is something that uh, Microsoft is going to be able to really take ad advantage of um, you know but at the same time we'll have to wait and see you know like will this help them in the console war will people buy it will people flock to it uh, I don't know 
You know, those are questions that we won't know the answers to for a little while. So I think one big advantage that Microsoft is going to have over uh, PlayStation 5 Pro is the fact that uh, Sony has to do extra work and things like that to be able to, you know, say that, hey, we have an enhanced deal here uh, and it's something that, you know, it's going to be great or blah, blah, blah. So instead of that type of situation, we're going to have a very cool situation where games are just better on xbox so that's going to be a smart thing going forward is that going to change the console wars no i mean let's just be real about it uh it's not going to do much to change anything uh microsoft is kind of you know stuck in this weird place you know now that's not to say that they can't do better because i feel like they absolutely can and, and will do better uh it's just all comes down to actually caring about the actual um you know uh things that you're doing you know it's like it seems like they've kind of given up at various times so now it looks like they might be all in they see the error of their ways and not only have they seen the error of their ways one thing that they announced today was a brand new halo story coming to the xbox series xx uh, and it looks like it's going to do phenomenally well. Uh, it, it's going to be kind of be a reboot of the franchise. And it looks like they're going to be going all in with this. Uh, I can't wait. You know, it looks like the Arbiter is going to be back. Uh, a lot of different things like that. Great, great, great uh, little teaser trailer that we got. And, you know, at the end of the day, I feel like Microsoft is starting to understand the reasons why people like Xbox. And it's, you know, Halo. It's great games. It's, you know, just this amazing thing that people resonate with. You know, like it used to be cool to be an Xbox player, to play Xbox, to like Xbox. And they kind of ruined that. Um, and I'm glad to see that maybe, just maybe, they're kind of going back and um, making sure that, that people kind of think that that xbox is cool again now like it should be cool to play xbox like the stuff that the reason why people don't like xbox isn't because xbox sucks it's because they made xbox suck right they're the ones that haven't put out games they're the ones that haven't put out um you know that put their games that they did have out on on competing platforms so it is nice to see that you know that they're doing the right thing here and doing a xx like a, a pro type uh, console so you know yeah it might be a little bit harder to to code for you know an extra game or whatever but you know at the end of the day uh, they have to do these things you know they have to go out there and make sure that gamers have a competitive console uh, xbox to buy you know even if they are going to come out with the next gen one uh, in a very short manner so anyway let me know what you guys think about this i appreciate it have a fantastic day and as always rack them up Crab Gamer out.